Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. And uh, we just talked to another one of Cole's Marine buddies. And things are really starting to get thick here between the organized crime ring here in Los Angeles and the uh, Marines who are dealing with the morphine. And it looks like we've got to go ahead and use the phone here. So let's see what we got. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Mabel! I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Oh. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. It's all starting to come together, because we remember how much Cole and Jack really got along. Kelso's apartment. All right, let's do it. We'll hustle this way. I heard this is a triple homicide. Is that good? Kelso's apartment. We can go back to Hollywood Police Station. I don't know why that's still there. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Oh yeah, I can't wait for uh, Jack and Roy to meet each other. All right, just because there's music there. You're behind the wheel. That's the sign that we do this. All right. About to have a very uncomfortable reunion. Kelsey's apartment, 2.15 p.m. Arlington Manor. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Yeah, that this is going about the way I expected. Interview at Hollywood. Oh, I got back to the station anyway. Shoo, 34 years old, former Marine and OCS training dropout. All right, army surplus morphine. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Well, that's definitely not true. Possession of shooting victim. Coolridge heist. Manifest. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Jack, you know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. Coolridge High. Pocket recording on hits and Alvaro, six Marines. Oh, maybe. Returning six Marine Division soldiers linked to morphine theft. Let's... You're off the hook for now. Let's use some intuition here. Because... 99.6... Doubt. All right. Well, I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys. But the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Yes. Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. <laughs> He's not wrong, though. 
Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's truthy face. Okay, Jack. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. Well, now... Now you know. And knowing's half the battle. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. Okay, let's look at the... Oh, he's blinking a lot. Uh, truth? I saw Felix Alvaro today. Whew. Good. How was he? Alive. A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. And SS Coolridge robbery. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Coolridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. And I don't think we have any thing that would say otherwise, other than six Marines. Let's go ahead and doubt that. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? Maybe. You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. Ooh. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Judy, Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Another one down. Whoop. Okay. In the car. Come on, Roy. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Probably not the thing to say there, Roy. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. He's a good soldier. All right, here we go. Where's the diner? There it is. Thread the needle. He just walked up and shot the man. Wow. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. And with shotguns, too. Oh. Step on it, huh? Just get me a closer. <laughs> Sorry, could not help that. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Okay, working. Trying. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Your aim sucks, Roy. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Going too fast. No, we're no such thing. Get in close and steer him off the tar. 
Well, you know, easier said than done. We have some construction happening here. I Whoa. can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Oh, Lord. Oh, Cole's hat. There's a headshot. Come on. Peekaboo. I see you. Huzzah. I hear investigation music. Alleyway crime scene. Now, this is rare. We normally don't get to inspect these people after we kill them. And another guy with a... Not a headshot. <laughs> Mickey's meeting. Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. 9 a.m. at Newsview Building, Sheldon. Mid-20s, 510, dark hair. This is the smoking gun. What else we got here? Nothing there. Let's check the other pocket. The hit list. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Oh, it's an LAPD copy. Holy crap. John Higgins, Michael Driscoll, Walter Beckett. Okay. Grom's Chinese Theater, Hollywood Post Office. Anything else? I know that cops are uh, trained to shoot for center mass, but I'm a gamer, so I always try to go for the headshot. Open casket for you, sir. Grats. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. What is... Ah! LAPD vice scandal could go all the way to the top. Stalker tell-all may cost jobs at City Hall. Or Stoker. Mayor, District Attorney, decline the comment. Chief William J. Worrell. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war. Who has let his beautiful wife and kids down. Who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD. And his commitment to the public. We all serve. Hell's bells. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow. And you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Can we shoot him? Because I bet you... Yeah, Cole doesn't know. Okay, well then. Oh, wait a minute. We need to search the body that... Oh, we can't. Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and uh, travel to one of the new locations, I suppose. We got the... Post office in the Chinese theater. Still can't. Still something missing from the police station. Not all the guys from the ship. Why? 
How does that get them the dope? Hmm. They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. Okay, historic building in Forecourt. I actually saw the um, the replica of the Chinese theater when I was in Orlando for Extra Life United. Took some pictures of it on it's on the Facebook page, but it's a pretty impressive structure. Kind of curious what the real thing looks like though in terms of scale and such. If they made a direct replica or if it's just a reasonable facsimile. Now, oh. Max Factor building. Max Factor. Now, if memory serves... Oh, here we go. 4.39 p.m. Unmarked car. Two down. Getting close and steer him off the tar. Roy, I really don't want to hear your voice right now. Call me crazy. It's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Oh, didn't hit that guy. That's a blessing. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Woo! Okay, trying. That's one. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Okay. Oop. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Okay, there's center mass. And a headshot. Nothing we could do about that. That's weird. We got that scene. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He uh, worked at Kate. Oh! <laughs> the lady <that> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know why. Watch, we're gonna get damaged for that. <laughs> you dented the car. Now where? Police station, post office. Ignore that blood on the uh, sidewalk there, kids. Or on the street. Because that was a scene that we normally get for street crime. So hopefully I have not done something wrong. Goddamn maniac! I don't want to hear it from you, Roy. I know what you're planning. You're in the middle of some sneaky shenanigans. It's like, I will turn this car around. So the post office, I think, is just up here. I don't think it's that long of a drive. Nope. Okay, right here. It's been a busy day. Good officer. And here we are. One headshot. Two headshots. And looks like there's one more inside. Let's rush up. Go. 
kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Gotcha, right behind the ear. Whew, it's another one down. Hey, you're still up. <coughs> hey. Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Trying to do the Vulcan mind meld. God. Okay. That obviously didn't help. He had something in his hand. We'll check that here in a sec. This is another one of Cole's buddies. And we can't actually look in his jacket. Polar Bear Ice Company. You really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Lenny Finkelstein, or Finkelstein, all comes full circle. Okay, well, if that is the case, wait, there were two of them, weren't there? And can't talk to him. See, maybe here on... Oh, there's blood splatter. Okay, we don't get any last words. Anything in your hand? Roy? Do you mind? Nothing there. I haven't really needed to look at the hand since... Most of the... About over here. Ooh. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Meet with Cohen and Sheldon. 1640 North Las Palmas later tonight. Hmm. Juice Beckett. Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? I don't know, Sheldon seemed Not very passionate. So where are we going? Alright. Oh, look at the car. The poor car. Meeting place. Ah. Okay. Arranged meeting between Courtney Sheldon, Mickey Cohen, and Associates. Yeah, this won't end badly. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Well, at least it's close by. Nine fifteen p.m. It got dark fast. Bear, light up. All right, let's kill these rat bastards. Whoa! Okay. Is he down? Yeah, he's good. He's down. Throw out the guns. Another shot. Oh, we got a bunch of them coming in. Oh, lordy. Honk, honk. Find some cover. Sorry, right in the hindquarters. You do what you gotta do. 
Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Is he up on... Oh, there you are. They're making a run for it after them. Stay in cover. There you go. It's another one down. Cole's getting pretty good at that, I have to say. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the Car 11K. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. Interesting. So now we get to talk to uh, good old Courtney, who we haven't seen in a while. Uh, let's go ahead and set that down as the spot. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> I need to get the jitters out. It's been a stressful day. Lots of bullets flying. Odd man out, indeed. Roy, in my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. Oh. No, I wouldn't do that little what smug smirk, Cole. Okay, patrol briefing room, booking window. Hello there, doctor. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Ouch. Former Marine medic listed on Cool Ridge Passenger Manifest, 25 years old. And we gotta look at both of them. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. Hmm. What well, we got? No. They're being targeted. Sniper's pocketbook. Six Marine shooter's notebook. Notebook recording between Courtney Sheldon and Mickey Cohen. Oh, there we go. Or the manifest too. Let's um. Let's see. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Let's see here. Yeah. It basically connects Cohen and Sheldon. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old unit. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. Because you have the morphine now. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. How long is this going to take? Hmm. Oh, that's... That's a truthy face, but... Let's use intuition. 66.8% of players chose correct answer after using intuition. Okay. Ask the community? 75.4% chose lie. Okay. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? 
I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Um. Let's see. Manifest. Oh, the confession. Tell Courtney, bad luck, it was worth a try. Yeah, there you are. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Ooh. Doctor. Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. The, ha the hammer dropped. Oh, Roy. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> Holy crap. He had nothing to say either. That must be Mrs. Phelps. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie, they're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Oh. Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Marie. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to do it. Man, Roy did us dirty. And look where we're going for solace. Maybe. That's the secret knock. Had a bad day. Need a hug. Holy crap. Okay. 
And lots of vehicle damage, I would imagine. Valorous. Demoted. Arson desk. Wilshire Police Station, Division 7. So we didn't get fired. We got demoted to arson? Your actions have earned you a demotion. <laughs> Despite mob wars and an unsolved robbery, one story will dominate the newsprint. Okay, guys. Um, I guess that's the end of this case. And we will be going on to arson in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. That was uh, that was a lot in one episode. Um, but if you liked it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.